Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program and the lathe colonization thingy-majiggy. Um, so if you remember last episode we put this guy, the lathe scout, in orbit around lathe. Uh, I, off camera I put the lathe station in around lathe. Uh, now this thing here called lathe house, in orbit around Kerbin currently, I'm going to send up to Jewel off camera ready for next episode, probably. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to do. Oh, and I just crashed thingy majig, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the lathe house. Uh, and this uh, this is going to chop up... Uh, ch uh, okay, right. So this I'm going to separate in the orbit of Kerbin, because that is this stage here isn't really needed. That was just to get it into orbit. I don't know why I even have that. <laughs> Uh, this is this stage here is going to get it into orbit uh, around Jewel and Lathe. And this stage here is going to bring it down slowly into the atmosphere of Lathe and to our desired location. And that's going to cut off. And these up, let me, let me just show you, um, just here. These are all parachutes and those are just all going to go and, uh, and bring this down to 5 meters per second. Now that is five meters per second in the atmosphere of Kerbin, which is a bit den uh, which is uh, which is a bit denser. So uh, it might be it might go faster, but the gravity is less on lead and stuff. So um, uh, but anyway, that is gonna come off. That's gonna uh, those are all gonna land. Those are gonna sink into the ground a bit because they do on Kerbin for some reason. And then uh, these will store all of the Kerbals. Nice little house, which is why it's called the Kerbal House. Uh, yeah, so that, and then there's, like, solar panels on the side, so it gets, uh, power and lights and shit like that. But anyway, um, let's just go over to, uh, the lathe station. Switch to. The lathe station, oil putting lathe. Uh, now this little guy, you remember in episode one? Uh, actually, let's extend that. Uh, so here we have Bill, Jebediah, and Bob all orbiting Lave in this nice in, in this nice little uh, station, temporary station with docking ports and stuff. So so if any ships need to dock and get grab some extra fuel um, before going, they feel like coming out of Lave or something like that, then they can grab some more fuel. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the Lave station. That's all I've done. And for some reason, that doesn't have any liquid fuel in it. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, off camera, I'll need to refuel that, I guess. I don't know why that doesn't have any fuel in it. I'll have to bring up another ship and refuel it somehow. Um, actually, I suppose I could attach some to the lathe house and bring it up with that. Right. Uh, and also, uh, so in this episode today, we're going to bring down to the surface... The Lathe Scout, which as you can see here, is this thing which we put into orbit, like, oh that's a good shot, isn't it, of Lathe and Jewel. Um, bring down the Lathe surface. Uh, so right, uh, so in this episode we need to find, uh, we'll obviously bring that down, but we need to find a good island to put it on. And I was thinking this one, yeah. Right, so should we just time warp? And see if you can see any cool looking islands to, to land on which are sort of on the equator because we want to generally um land on islands which are on the crater because it would be easier just to get ships up and down well that looks like a nice kind of meteor crater comet whatever it has hit there um just looking for islands oh that that's quite, it's a bit big though we want kind of something small that we can claim as our own uh, to set up the base on. That's a bit big as well. How about this? Because uh, yeah, yeah, I, th I think this is the one that we saw earlier. Okay, I think we should land on that. To be honest, right. So let's let's just take this guy around. Uh, and I'm just gonna because I forgot about the planet spinning kind of thing. So I'm gonna stop it there. And then we can undo the quick save and see, like, if we need to go any more than that. 
right. And as you can see, I, I've dumped the, um, uh, where is it, the excess debris, which was over there, which of the fuel tanks there that we didn't need anymore. Uh, so let's just come down over here. As you can see, the planet's spinning as expected. We are coming down hot over here. Actually, I'm going to burn a bit. Because otherwise we're going to overshoot this mother. <laughs> uh, I am going to dump those fuel tanks. Because we don't really need that extra weight. Okay, guys. So this bit is just sped up just here. Because it gets gets a bit tedious at times. So as you can see here. We are, as you can see here, we are just entering the atmosphere of Lave. Uh, lathe at quite a good speed to be honest uh, and then I will separate this bottom stage and activate the parachutes uh, and that will bring us down nicely onto the land over here uh, so this bit's also sped up just because it's a little bit boring <laughs> um, so as we descend onto the surface um, uh, I will activate the parachutes and la 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 and we will descend at 3.5 meters per second, which is really slow, to be honest. Like, yeah, um, a lot slower than I expected. Uh, so here we're just going to go back to normal speed and touchdown. Woo! Uh, and then the next thing to do, obviously, is put on the brakes and jettison this top stage just here. Uh, so if I've got, yeah, there we go. And up it goes. And that will hopefully not come down and hit the um, uh, the rover. Uh, so this is pretty nice island to be honest. And that's just going to explode. Da, 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 da. Uh, so this bit here is just going to be sped up. Uh, and I'm just because uh, there's a bit of flat land over there. I'm just going to go and investigate it. And all these rocks. I don't really want to land on any rocks. So I need to find a good place. It's quite a nice island to be honest. Um, but we need to find a good place that isn't filled with rocks and it's quite flat. And I'd also like it close to the sea because I'm thinking of making some submarines and uh, ships and stuff to go in the water. Uh, yeah, so, so probably around here. Uh, but anyway guys, that is it for this episode of KSP. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.